Thank you for joining us on the Retox. I'm your host, Robbie Z. This is Richie Z. And this is Frank Reynolds. If I had all the money in the world, I think I'd buy the world a dream. So we've got a special victor victorious victory edition and a family edition. So there's a lot going on here. So this is Super Bowl Sunday. The Super Bowl literally ended 20 minutes ago. Yep, 20 something like that. Minutes, yeah. So this is a victory edition of the weekend, okay? So we got the Flames, okay? Chucky, congratulations. Great game yesterday. Tom Brady, congratulations on your, I, I think, 51st Super Bowl victory. And here's another 30 more. Terrific, Tom. Very terrific. Antonio Brown, congratulations on still having a job, let alone a Super Bowl victory. That's incredible. Did not look like a clown. Actually performed pretty great. Oh, my God. It was, it was insane. Good for you. And lastly, to another Robbie... Congratulations, Rob Gronkowski. Did fantastic in the booth, but even better on the field. 87 you did for great. the win. 87 for the win. He actually did incredible today. Like super duper duper Won good. the game, two touchdowns. Incredible. Okay. Yeah. Now, this little nugget. Oh. A, little, a little sleepy. Frank... What's extra special about this episode is my English Bulldog puppy. And on our way home for picking this guy up, I stopped at Valley Brewing to grab this guy. So we've got a, so that's Drumheller Alberta, if you guys are not aware. It's a blackberry and lemon smoothie. Okay, sounds delicious, can, I'd say pretty good. Ah, it's a great design, like not, the colors. Not bad, yeah. It looks like blackberry and lemon. Crafted in Drumheller, brewed with the finest Alberta-grown craft malts, cool, called Mayday Kettle Sour Series. We checked their website, I don't know if it's past tense or coming, but the Kettle Sour Series, they had a cherry one. There was a few things in there that sounded absolutely delicious. Yep. A smoothie style sour using Tahitian vanilla bean, lactose sugar, fresh lemons, and tart blackberries. In the early 20th century, Drumheller's lack of medical facilities and clean water made living and working conditions unbearable. To demand better rights and safety measures, thousands of workers began marching down the streets in the annual May Day Parade May Day. Uh, tradition still celebrated every May 1st. Valleybrewing.ca. And I have been there. 242 3rd Ave, West Drumheller, Alberta. Absolutely great postal code. T O J O Y O. Looks like Tojoyo. Tojoyo? Tojoyo, Alberta. Yeah. Um, good location, downtown Drumheller. Um, Cool spot, very small. Uh, my service, no bueno. I brought this guy. I brought this guy in. He was like very twelve week weeks old, puppy. and I'm like, "Hey, can I bring my adorable bulldog puppy in here?" And she's like, "Eh, I guess." Again, and she's probably a wonderful woman, but I, I brought in a, a little bulldog puppy. She hardly flinched. Insanity, insanity, Frank. I know. Uh, I know. Exactly. You probably won't go back there, but Rich we will rate their beer. Yeah, you'll never be back, and <laughs> I may never be back either. But, <laughs> Rich, you want to crack this Mayday Kettle Sour Series? Let's crack it. Let's do it. Mm. Okay. Seems interesting. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Either I'm getting really good at pouring, or this is the proper level of carbonation. I didn't have to try too hard and it poured properly. Very nice color. Yeah. So Ruby red. Nice foam on top. 
pour it properly. Again, if you're doing beer reviews for, with your brother, it's like the perfect amount of perfect amount of beer. Okay, down yeah, here's the can. Pretty good. I like it. I do like it. Here's the color. Yeah, kind of like party style red. Like I was on a beach and like sneaking beers onto it. I'd want it to be this color. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Frank's getting irritable. All right. Frank, you need to go feisty. Now. Yeah, that's okay. Frank, you can go. All right. All right. Frank wanted to go. Yeah. Maybe, maybe another video. All right. Cheers. Cheers. To Mayday. Oh, I forgot to, forgot to mention. 4.2%. Five IBUs. Okay. So definitely not bitter. Definitely a sweeter beer. Easy on the drinking scale. Yeah. For a sour, a very easy, easy drink, but it's very tasty. Yeah, this is nice. I can see someone who's not super into beers liking this. This is a hot summer day on a patio, maybe. In, in Alberta, a hot summer day, 20, 25 if you're lucky. That's a hot summer day. Limited to July through August, of course. Yeah, we, our, we, we've got a solid two months of summer <laughs> if we're lucky. But Not like old Robbie G in, in Tampa Bay. Oh, Tampa. Tampa. Tampa gets 10 months, probably 12 of summer weather. Yeah, it's pretty solid. 4.2, so I feel like you could actually... You can crush a few. Yeah, 